Good morning, Post and Road Tigers. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, March 21st, 2019. Your lunch choices for today are walking taco or toasted cheese sandwich or yogurt string cheese and Cheez-Its served with chilled peaches, Spanish rice, steamed broccoli, salsa, and milk. Let's take a look at our birthdays. We are going to, let's see here. We don't have any birthdays today, so there you go. We have two friends here that earn enough dojo points to be on announcements. Tell them your name. Joshua Mile. All right, good job, boys, and they are first graders. All right, boys and girls, looking ahead for the rest of the week here. Let me find my weekly post. All right, um, tomorrow, boys and girls, we have pajama day for $1. So pay $1 and you can wear pajamas. That dollar will go towards the high school's dance marathon, which helps Riley Children's Hospital. So all of the kiddos that are sick at Riley, that money goes to them. Also, we have a kindergarten, first and second grade field trip to the high school tomorrow. We will be doing a special Mother's Day surprise there. And then um, Miss Johnson, who is the high school girls basketball coach, she's gonna be coming around to your classrooms Friday afternoon to talk about girls basketball. So teachers, please be flexible when she comes around to visit. Okay. Also after announcements today, we have our last American Legion essay winner and this student received first place in the contest and that was Holly Marie French. So you'll get to hear Holly Marie's essay after announcements. So stay tuned. Words of wisdom, paying attention to what we see and hear. Most of us spend a lot of time in front of televisions, computers, and video games. We listen to CDs and MP3 players. Our eyes see thousands of pictures. Our ears hear thousands of sounds. We may hear angry screams or shouts of joy. We may see violent explosions or hear music so beautiful it gives us goosebumps. Whether you're watching television, playing a video game, or listening to music, it is important to stop and ask yourself questions like these. How does what I am hearing and seeing make me feel? Is it making me feel good, bad, confused, or scared? Is it something my parents or caregivers would want me to see or hear? So pay attention to all you are seeing and hearing each day. And remember that your time is precious. You have some choices about how you spend your time. Choose wisely. And remember that what you watch and listen to can make a big difference in the kind of person you become. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Vulcan. Make it a great day or not. The choice is always yours. All right, boys. Say please stand. Please stand for the flag. And face the flag. The pledge of allegiance. All right, here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. veterans are becoming a big problem in our community. I think that we can help by donating things to help them, like food, drinks, clothes, hygiene products, and shelter. With these types of things, things will help them get jobs and possibly make their own happy. To help, we could go to Kroger and Walmart to get stuff for the homeless veterans there should be a little pantry at the American Legion so people can drop stuff off for the homeless veterans to help. The homeless veterans veterans would need shampoo, toothpaste, and a toothbrush. Churches, schools, and offices can collect different things like how to get them places 
people help them by trying to find some how to get them around. There you go, babe. Since there are no buses or taxis, so people try to help them get to where they need to go. Homeless veterans would need food and water so they can stay healthy. They will get food from people donating them. Homeless veterans will get the money to buy water, food and water from donating fees, from donation fees. Homeless veterans population is becoming a big problem in our city. <coughs> people can help by donating hygiene products, food, water, and clothes. People can also help them get around and help them find shelter. These things can get jobs or start a business.